Our guest tonight is a legend, and he's like he's just he's the finest. He is not only nominated uh, for a CSA on Sunday, but he's also obviously the host of it. I'm talking about Martin Short. Look at what Martin Short has done: SCTV, Saturday Night Live, Curb Your Enthusiasm, Arrested Development, an amazing turn on damages. He's also one of the most loved people in the business. He's incredible. Before he comes out, though, let's take a look at this show. This is the show that won him the nomination for the CSA. It's CBC's 75th anniversary special called Long Story Short. Look. Here's to 75 wonderful years and 75 more! Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, George! Hey, Marty. Oh, for heaven's you sake. Okay? You park here. Yeah, that's right. Oh, that's, that's, a, that's quite a wind machine. Hey, let's go and have a cocktail, shall we? I would love that. Well, charge it to the CBC. Well, Why not? Let's take my bike. All right. Oh, this is your bike. This... All right. It's very impressive. You know how to do this? Yeah. Ah! It smells like the couch from 24 Sussex. <laughs> Absolute life highlight. Martin Short, everybody! Sir. Hello, George. Welcome back, sir. How are you, baby? Hi, buddy. Good. That, um, congratulations on your nominee. Thank you. And your nomination and your hosting which, gig. Which one? <laughs> <laughs> and your hosting gig. I am hosting, yeah. Do you remember that when we shot that episode where you had to sit on the motorcycle with me and it didn't occur to you that you had to sit on your own seat? <laughs> I know. It was unbelievable because I didn't know, well, it was a high seat. Yes. So I sat right in my seat. In your seat. While I was there. Yeah. It was, and, and, and then we announced our engagement. <laughs> <laughs> it was a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, how, how are you? How are I'm things? good, very well. You keep me very, very busy. Yeah. Well, it's going to be exciting this Sunday. It's going to be a big show. Big, big show. Right. The, um, I was reading this great Vanity Fair article. But did you read this article? I don't know if people have seen it. Judd Apatow co-edited this um, comedy issue. And yeah, is, I, I finally read it. You did read it. This is <laughs> the picture of you in the... And then I memorized it. Yeah. <laughs> Can we get up on this one? boy. <laughs> you know, just on a paddleboard in your backyard with a bunch of swimsuit girls around yes, you, right? Yes, exactly. Yeah. Uh -huh. I suppose this Typical was day. from your Facebook profile page? No, it was just I wandered in the back. <laughs> <laughs> but, see, what stands out, aside from all this, is the golden quote on the top from Lauren Michaels. And Lauren Michaels says, that sort of oddness, and he referred it to you and to Dan Aykroyd as well, that sort of oddness, that's allowed in Canada. I think that's true. I think that's very true. I think that, that, you know, for a long time I used to think, oh, it's a coincidence. You know, people would say, why are Canadians funny? Is there something in the water and all this stuff? And then after a while, then Mike Myers and, you know, Jim Carrey, and then you go, wait a second, this is odd, given... And you realize that Canada is a nurturing country to the odd behavior, and they love character. <laughs> well, they are. Yeah. Look at Stephen Harper. That, that you know... <laughs> You don't write them broader than Rob Ford. <laughs> you, really don't. But you, you have this, like, uh, we've talked a bit before how you're past rife with tragedy early on, but you seem to have the chemistry that allows you to find your way through well, it. Well, I think that with any, everyone has a, a checkered uh, past of happiness and sorrow, and I think that some people are empowered and understand more about life through unfortunate occurrences, and some people become victim and then often play victim from mm -hmm. it. How have you been the last couple of years? You know, it's been difficult. But um, I think uh, my children and I continue and, tr and understand life each more. I mean, each day. Mm -hmm. and, you, and you're able to put enough work in front of you. I think I've put a lot of work in front of me <laughs> for that it, reason. But you don't strike me as the kind of guy that requires a distraction. So when you do it, is it, it, wasn't to, is it to be distracted? No, it's, it's to... to, um, it's to create a normalcy in your life that you may not find at home uh, but you feel in your work because you were that's the same way right. you know if I'm getting ready in a suit in Boston to go on stage Nancy wasn't there with me but if I'm home she was so it's almost better to be in Boston right and last on this was when Kathy Lee talked about it you handled it with such great the clip was really uncomfortable for a minute mm -hmm. and then the way you handled it was I, you know, listen, she thought we were taping a rerun. That's what... <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean... <laughs> Let's go way, way, way back and see if we have this clip. Let's go back. And... Oh, man. 
Oh, <laughs> That's very good. Yeah. <laughs> you know, one like legged jack. Really good. Good what on earth are you two doing? Playboy magazine. I might have known. That's absolutely shocking. You young people at breast best stop reading this sort of thing. It's what are you talking about? It's a very good magazine. <laughs> <laughs> we did that. We got paid. Uh, that's McMaster University. That's Dave City. Sherry, yeah. my old friend. And we got paid by McMaster University uh, psychology. Uh, we, we, we acted out psychology. And uh, yeah, I think I got $60 for about 400 hours of work. <laughs> <laughs> Stick around. More with Martin Shore after this. Here, ding a ling, that's your cue, money! What? Yes! When you hear ding a ling, as I say that, do you understand? How complicated is this, you idiot? Can I sing too? No! I've been yelling at McCartney, dude. Someone has to. Do you, um, because you are so humble and so well adjusted, and you, and you clearly are very present in the moment, do you ever have a moment when you look and go, it's Paul McCartney? No, well, you know, there was, a, there was a moment in rehearsal, and he starts breaking in. I hear it's your birthday! Da -da 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 -da. It's your birthday, too! And then he said, he grabs me and goes, Marty, sing with me. Oh my God. Now, this is just for the crew, yeah. <laughs> but meanwhile, there's a mic right here, and I'm like this, and there's Paul McCartney, and I'm John Lennon. <laughs> and I thought to myself, this is strange. <laughs> Sunday, you are the host uh -huh. of the Canadian Screen Awards. You will all be watching. You're also nominated. Well, well host star. It depends what you want to yeah, call Yeah, you're right, yeah. <laughs> star host. Star, star host. host. Also nominee. You're actually nominated for, Twice. for best host, then. Uh -huh. Best host. Yeah. At the Canadian Screen Awards. That's right. Who's, here's who Martin's competition is. I'm a nominated by a, with, a, with, against a bunch of hacks. Well, <laughs> Cheryl Hickey, the, the beautiful jewel in the <laughs> crown of this country. Super talented, as nice as you can get. Uh, very good. Not Europe. When she's it, right? sober. Well, whatever. <laughs> um, a guy that I know is uh, to your Superman. He's your Lex Luthor. William Shatner is your up against Shatner. Beautiful man. Yeah. He'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> well, Les Stroud, who's Survivor Man, who actually risks his life for his show and for the audience. So he suffers for his art. Unlike, yes, he does. You know, yes, he does. Great. And some guy, I don't know him, but he sounds super handsome, uh, George Strombolopoulos. So yeah. we're, all, we're all nominated in the same thing. This, yeah. is, this will be fun. I really, really hope you win. Yeah. No, I, listen, I, I, I never, ever want to win, but I totally want to beat you in this. I think this is what I'm just doing. <laughs> but, but no, listen, obviously you're, you're Martin Short. I'd be happy with whatever, because you're Martin Short. But I challenge you to a host off. Bring it on, dude! It's a host off! Host off! All right. What do we do? All right. I don't, um, in the interest of, oh, this is going to suck, man. Wow. So here's what we have to do. There's three, there's three competitions. One of them is singing. One of them is an acceptance speech challenge. And mm -hmm. one of them is elocution. Okay, and good. And that's how we start. Okay, All so right. elocution. I'm going to, so we have this following phrase that we have to say right here. We've got on cue cards. And by applause, you know who to vote for. <laughs> You want me to go first or do you want to go first? I want to see what not to do. <laughs> I am the, I have the worst enunciation ever. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. A peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked. <laughs> I am... Um, I think that was accurate. I don't think it had much soul. <laughs> <laughs> Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. A peck of pickled peppers. And Peter Piper picked... <laughs> So also, I don't know who's keeping tabs. I know it's all fun. So far, I'm winning. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right, so acceptance speech challenge. You get to pick A or B. So okay. Pick, which one do you want, A or B? I'll go first. Okay, you go first. Okay, so you get to read Sally Field's 1985 Oscar speech for Places in the Heart. That's your speech all that right. you have to read. Okay. I haven't had an orthodox career, and I've wanted more than anything to have your respect 
for the first time, I didn't feel I had it. But this time, I feel it. I can't deny the fact that you like me. Right now, you like me. You really like me. Go ahead or just skip to the next. <laughs> Well, I was gonna, but I don't think I can do it. I was gonna do re read Roberto Bonini's acceptance speech from Light is Beautiful. I wanna see it, I wanna see it. We'll All right. <laughs> this is a moment of joy. <laughs> I, want, I want to kiss everybody because you are the image of joy. And he who kisses the joy <laughs> lives in eternity sunrise. This said the poet, the rain, the hailstorm. The hailstorm! It's a hailstorm of kindness! <laughs> Is that what he said? No, I have no idea. Yeah. <laughs> That's, what he said. That's crazy. I, uh, I vote for you. <laughs> I vote for you. Last one, singing challenge. Okay. This is gonna be painful for the audience because I can't sing. <laughs> you couldn't do Bernini. <laughs> <laughs> you did a wonderful Mrs. Lincoln. You ready for it? Yes. Anne Marie Snowbird. <laughs> do I have to do it like Anne? No, you do it over here. Yeah, what? Can you do it like Anne? Anne can't do it like <laughs> Anne. Do we have a musical cue for this? Can we get... <laughs> oh, I didn't... I missed my cue. <laughs> Can we take it from the top? Yeah, do it from the top. From the top. <laughs> but I think I'll... I think the pelvic thrust will help. <laughs> and go! Beneath the snowy mountain cold and clean A nun born grass lies waiting for its coat to turn bright green The snowboard sings a song he always sings And speaks to me of flowers that will bloom again in spring <laughs> Sunday at 8 o'clock on CBC. Do we have a trophy? We have a trophy. But the Testination is no longer on the air, so you get the Testination trophy. <laughs>